Well, here we are after almost two years of working on my Ohio project. Here it is completed for now anyways. I'm gonna do a little bit more in the fall, but this is the main project that I wanted to complete. I'm gonna pack these up and ship them off down to the University of Ohio for their public outreach program. So I don't think I did this one on video, but it's just kind of a generic you know, willow leaf, small laurel leaf type blade. It could have a textile wrapped handle, a small one, or just some, you know, pitch of some kind. Just a small handheld knife like that. No real complex hafting needed. It's got some really cool colors in it though. I was gonna I was gonna notch it originally, but with the cool character of that base I, I decided not to. Just leave it like that. I won't wrap it up either. I'll just leave it as a cool example. I'm gonna do another hafted knife at a later point. So we've got the Clovis point here representing the Paleo period of Ohio's prehistory. There, I did two flutes on each face. Didn't go that great, but I still call it a Clovis. Here's the big agate basin point that took me about five and a half hours in total to complete. All the quartz and the cracks and everything in there gave it some real nice character. I'm just glad it stayed in one piece. That represents the transitional paleo period. Then we've got the Thebes point. Another crack in there, but looks pretty cool. This would be the early archaic example and then representing the middle archaic is this Benton point really nice looking stone here we've got our Adena point which is late archaic Snyder's, which is, uh, I think, what, early middle woodland period? Small, generic looking Snyder's, pretty cool, I think. I like that one. And then a little Fort Ancient Point, small triangle point representing late woodland, or locally, I think, the Mississippian period. I'm gonna make some more Ford Ancient examples and half them up, do different things with some tools later in the fall. For now, I just wanted to finish the projectile point typology for, you know, the history, the prehistory of Ohio. These aren't all the points, of course. There's probably a few dozen representative points of different periods in Ohio's prehistory, but I just chose these ones. And then over here we got the big hornstone biface cache. It's not all bifaces. There's the first one. Really cool quartz in the middle of that. There's 
second one. A bit bigger. Third one was long. I got a bunch of overshots off it. I thought it was going to be a shorter, wider one, but I decided not to take any off the base. Went for a longer one. It worked out more or less. This lump can be taken down with some indirect percussion later. The fourth one broke. Just going to leave it like that. Number five, nice large ovate biface, pretty flat. Number six, more of a kind of teardropped shape, teardrop shape. Almost like a little hand axe or something. Number seven was a little flat one, or did I get that reverse? I think this was number six. This one was lucky number seven. Number six was this little flat one. Pretty round. Could probably make a Snyder's out of that. So that's the biface cache part of things. A little blade core that I roughed out. Nice large percussion blade here with some cool colors. Nice usable blade. Large flake, pretty thin, not super curved on that. Good blank. There's a slightly smaller but thicker one. Good blank for a smaller point. And then something thick here. This could almost be used for a small little blade core, bladelet core. You know, it'd be a perfect little mesolithic bladelet core. Just use this as the platform. Take all the blades off around. You'd probably start at this end, start taking blades this way. Nice little piece, but in terms of Ohio's prehistory, this would probably just be turned into a little biface, I think. You could take some thinning flakes from either end and then have a small little biface. And then these are just a few other bifaces. I'm pretty sure I did these all off camera. Maybe I did this one on, I'm not sure. It's got some really cool quartz patterns in there. I just left it like this because I didn't want to get rid of any of that character. Kind of an incomplete rough biface. This one's very rough. It's still got a bunch of cortex and step fractures on the one face. Pretty much unworked here. More of a uniface. This could be a candidate for a scraper or something. And then a really small biface here that still incomplete. I was having issues with this square edge there. It could be finished at a later point, but it's just a good example of what might be included in a biface cache. You know, bifaces at different stages and sometimes different sizes. Some blanks that haven't been worked yet. They could be turned into lots of different things. A core that, you know, serves as a nice functional raw material set. All of this good raw material can be turned into lots of different things. These points are ready to be sharpened up and hafted, put onto spears and atlatls, you know, darts. This is probably the only arrowhead out of the bunch, the small little Fort Ancient triangle. Bow and arrow technology is pretty late for North America, for most of it anyways. Some of these would be hafted knives. The little Snyders I'm sure would be a small little knife. All of these other ones could serve as spearheads, dart, dart points, or hafted knives alternatively. This one just a little handheld knife just need a sharp edge you can carry that with you and not have to take up a lot of space and that's it that's the Ohio project I hope its new owners like it and have enjoyed watching the videos so far
It'll be a cool experience holding these in your hands now that you've seen how they're produced and then hopefully you'll be able to watch the videos with the public and show them how the pieces that they're holding were produced. Anyways, I hope all of you enjoyed watching this project. I hope to do similar types of things for different regions with different types of stone in the future. So down in the comments, please let me know what you'd like to see next. And cheers. Thanks for watching.